Well guys, it's uh, day one in recovery after the arthroscopy. First day back on the bike, just taking it nice and easy and uh, it actually feels good to stretch the knee. Two weeks after the op, back pedaling my little heart out and it's the first time in many months I've been on the bike and so far it feels really good. Let's go. So as the knee gets a bit better, I've been noticing it um, locking up a little bit when I go to get up or straighten the leg up. And uh, last night, man, I did it. Went to get up off the lounge and wow. I must have pinched a nerve because I was into some painkillers last night in the ice. And I didn't think I'd be out on the bike today, but it feels all right this morning. So it must have been just a pinched nerve. And I've just noticed a couple of little clunks when pedalling, so I'm hoping that it will just force me to help keep my knees straight again because I'm out of, out of practice. Some of the native wildlife. So, coming down Clayton's Road now, and of course, I picked a good day, perfect day to start back cycling again. And that's uh, beginning of magpie season. Uh, that's where deadly black and white birds swoop from the sky and try and take your ears off and your head off and shit down your neck. And of course we've got some strong southeasterlies blowing at the moment and uh, turning into northeasterlies after lunch. I guess when I'm heading north again, just after lunch. Anyway, it's good to be on the bike, can't argue. My daughter, when she started cycling, wanted to know why the uh, edge of the uh, gloves were really soft. And so I told her and she didn't believe me. So in case you don't know, the reason that the thumb side of your cycling glove is soft is so you can wipe your nose. So coming up to the second part of the Clayton's Road loop now, it takes a a right turn here and if you want to do the full loop you go around and join onto Wiser's Road. Uh, me and my uh, infinite wisdom has decided to do just the half loop so I'm just going to go down around onto Tomlinson's Road and cut across onto uh, what's it called? Oh, I can't remember but yeah another road that shall remain nameless all the macadamia trees there lined up, which uh, Bundaberg region is renowned for. Uh, in the next month or two, I'll start to flower. And they give off this uh, really sweet perfume. It's beautiful. You certainly know when you're in the uh, macadamia area when you smell that, that scent they give off. Yeah, so with the arthroscopy, there was a uh, sizable tear in the meniscus, medial meniscus, uh, which is all now gone. There was, of course, ligament strain, which was mainly caused 
by the way I was walking and I was sort of walking on the side of my foot, on the outside of my foot, which is what caused the strain they reckon. Of course the arthritis, that's all been cleaned up. And another big issue, which I've never had an issue with before and never even suspected it, uh, the knee was full of gout. And there is a particular strain of gout that attacks the uh, kneecap. But yeah, no, it feels really good now. Uh, I've gone, I've done 12K so far, so no knee pain. All the cane that's been harvested for the crush, because we're in crush season. One truck goes down to meet the harvester with an empty bin. The other one goes off to empty his full bin. Can't really see it. Hey, another Maggie coming at me. Uh, so chilies in there guys, you can't really see them. But here we go guys. Nice fresh Australian chilies. So uh, we've turned on the Mahoney Dexter's Dry uh, Road now. That's that road that shall remain nameless. For no particular reason, just that I couldn't remember it. At least the wind's still coming from due uh, east. So it's not in front of me at the moment. So it'll be a bit of a relief. And you've got some freshly harvested paddocks. And up ahead, you can see a uh, some tomatoes that are spent. Grow a lot of tomatoes and zucchinis and squash, pumpkin, rock melon, watermelon, all big, uh, and of course sugar cane. And there we have all the zucchinis growing. And as you can see over there, it's a bit hard to zoom in, but there's bees over there. They usually put hives around the zucchinis to help them propagate and grow the fruit and over this side we've got some fresh macadamia trees coming up new crop coming in so Bundaberg is quite a diverse area as far as agriculture we could have some company here guys in a minute uh, one of our friendly neighbourhood magpies have uh, decided to take a mount behind me somewhere so Oh, I'm pushing straight into the wind here, guys. Heading east, heading into it. Probably pumping about 25, 27 kilometres an hour into it at the moment. That's the wind, not me. So we're heading up Charge Road now onto Lover's Walk. So a bit of a reprieve out of the wind for a few minutes anyway. So we're going to continue up here on Charge, then... Uh, ride on the lover's walk and then uh, we'll work our way around onto the ring road and up onto Elliot Hedge Road and I'll just head down Walker Street to home then that'll do me today <laughs> they're friendly little blighters ah, it only lasts for six weeks a lot of people put uh, and I don't know why, zip ties on top of their helmets. I'd rather put up with the Maggies. Where is he?
Woohoo! Tailwind! It's always nice. Uh, well guys, that's uh, recovery ride number one over and done with. About 26 and a half k's I think it was, so that'll do me. So remember, eh? Ride safe out there.